Five million children in the United States have at least one undocumented parent. Three million of these children are U.S. citizens. As immigration enforcement increases, more and more parents are detained and deported. When parents are apprehended, there is no guarantee that they can make care arrangements for their children. They don't have so much as a phone call to ask someone to pick their child up after school or after daycare. As a result, children end up in the child welfare system, and this creates a series of events that make it more and more difficult for parents to reunite with their children at the end of their immigration case. When I speak with women in immigration detention facilities, one of the hardest things to hear is that they don't know where their children are. Some women even show me court documents that show that they have a court date coming that could end their custody rights and result in the permanent loss of their children. These women are desperate to participate in court, but they can't do so from immigration detention. Most women know that they will be deported in the end, and all they want is to take their children with them. Unfortunately, that's almost impossible for so many of them to do. It doesn't have to be this way. There are ways to enforce our immigration laws that keep families together, that allow parents to remain in the community where they can care for their children and where they can make preparations for what will happen to their children if they, the parent, are deported. The ability to protect the best interest of your child should not depend on your citizenship status. The Women's Refugee Commission is working to reduce the unnecessary detention of immigrant parents to ensure that parents can participate in court proceedings that impact upon their custody rights and to make it easier for parents who are deported to take their children with them if that's what they want to do.